Hello my people, welcome back to Critics News with more updates on Asi Take The Go in case you have not followed us on the social media handles. What are you waiting for? We are on Instagram, Twitter and on Facebook. I'm bringing you updates <laughs> back to back. Now, information reaching us says that um, a location in Anambra State <laughs> um, has received hot, <laughs> how will I put it, <laughs> hot tea. We are the Nigerian security agencies, the Nigerian army, and the combined uh, team of uh, DSS and some policemen. We are mounting a checkpoint, collecting bribe, extorting people. They said that later when the UGM gathered information that these people were there, Bill, I said they don't extort uh, one of their gay friends, you know. <laughs> <laughs> So when the girlfriend came back home, he now complained and said, mm -hmm. he said these people, they, they collected big money from her. Eh, you know how they do, or maybe they delayed the gear. They know be small thing. They say UGM went after the, the checkpoint and said, give me this here. You know what is? They went there, police, if you see Ron, eh, it, it was like fighter jet. Running, I say, eh? When I don't hear what they talk, they say yes. That they could, they could, you have the point <laughs> that running from unknown government is one of the best way to live to fight for another day. I say, eh? When I don't they get the message, they say yes. <laughs> but they say me will not tell on the location where this thing happened. Eh? Uh -huh, where the thing happened? Uh, okay. And um, not just that one, um, you guys can remember that um, another one happened in Abia State some previous day, um, I think two days ago, two days ago, previously, um, where UGM killed two soldiers, which is the reason why they burnt um, a, a village down in Abia State. So this is the kind of wahala that we are facing. These police and army officers, we have told you people to leave this checkpoint where you people are using to rob our people in the name of checkpoint. Go to the north where they are kidnapping people. Go to the, the, the Kaduna, Bonu, Sokoto, Medugri, where bandits and terrorists have taken over the state, where they are controlling communities. But I no go there. Of course, Mazen Namdekanu said it. He said that you people will come to Biafra land and they will take over your villages. Now they have taken over communities. They are not even, they are not, they are, this is not a joke. They are not joking uh, about the situation. They have taken over everywhere in the north. Collecting levy. You can imagine in a country where there is government. Terrorists are collecting levy collecting fees collecting everything that they need from the people why they claim that there is government in that country the government that we know eh, is only killing the people that is the kind of government that we have quickly let me look at this um, on what happened in Abia state and uh, how it happened here according to this statement here it says unknown government overpower nigerian soldiers in gun battle process of the shooting three soldiers died the remaining soldiers escaped the unknown government still move ahead said the dead body of the soldier soldiers ablaze in obuzo community on our west local government area of abia state this is the one that happened um few days back i'm just kind of bringing it back to you so you will know what is happening this is the reason why they are going about burning communities something that has never or will never happen in the north but once it comes to southeast the nigerian army will gather all their people because the maybe i don't know these uh, unknown government people that we are yet to identify because I, i'm making i'm beginning to investigate to know who these unknown government are <laughs> to know why they are causing trouble in the land you understand to know their grievances we have not been able to get um, a good intel or one-on-one -on -one. the the other day somebody was trying to know uh, uh, interview on government they shot the microphone and the thing scattered up till now the microphone is still in the hospital 
receiving treatment, receiving drip. So that's why we've not been able to unravel. Yeah. And the secondly, is because the unknown government too does not ambush people. This unknown government, I don't know the tactics that they are using. If it were to be all those bad, bad people, as you, you go or as they keep people, they know that the Nigerian army will definitely make a return march to destroy that city or that village. That is what they do. That is what the Nigerian army is only good at. But assuming they have uh, they, they, they ambush people, if they tell you, say, after they, you have fought, we have exchanged gunfire with the unknown government, they tell you, say, go back to that place, uh, and you come and drive this uh, healer, so you carry your men. As you are going, they don't know, say, so they come. Or they go blow on her up. On for don't get sense. On for don't get sense. All this Nigerian army and police. When I know they use common sense. How can you go to a community and burn down uh, um, people in that place? Burn properties and uh, 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 shops. What millions of naira? How will these people cope again? Mm. And if we say we should join hands together, some people go to see I'm like say now nah, joke. Now nah, we they joke for here. We are not joking. People who are living in Portacourt now are at risk of having all sorts of sicknesses. So you that is a big man, and I to holy holy be with your big belly, they can be in here, in here, no, be okwa, okwa, many that big okwa, with your pot belly like that, and I to holy holy, you feel that entering your Jeep will save you. You know, go save you because you are still breathing. This black suit ravaging the, the river state. Our people, eh, they are too foolish. You are a big man. Your country does not have refinery. Oil is coming from river state to uh, uh, delta state to cross river. Abia, Imo, Anambara, all these places, no refinery yet. No, it's no single refinery. Now, because of the illegal refinery bunkering and all that that uh, people are doing to survive to help the economy it has turned to something else and is destroying lives and properties on the same they say black suit now say no be small one they say now nah, don't turn charcoal suit because of the the kind of darkness the thick thickness of the darkness that it has and yeah yeah the the black suit does it keep people in the north they, are ju they just want to destroy everybody. They follow this system in the north, using bandits and terrorists. In, the, in, the, uh, in Biafra land, they are using black suit so that people will have cancer, have all different kinds of uh, um, lungs uh, uh, diseases to die. That is the plan of the government for you, a government that doesn't can build Buari upon eight years that you have been there. You are just been busy eating, eating, eating bread and milk, to, so you can this fake buari wear a mask up and down. Nonsense. Let me play you this video quickly before we talk about something else. Ungualeno, look at River State. When you hear black suit mm -hmm. in Port Harcourt, this is what it means. This is few minutes past eight in the morning, and this is how the atmosphere looks like, all covered in soot. People are inhaling distance and are dying silently. Okay. I'm actually very happy um, the governor has started to do something about it, but he should actually uh, put in more effort to go after these criminals who are jeopardizing the life of the people who are mm. living in Port Harcourt. Mm. This is not good. This is really not good. Few minutes past eight in the morning. This is how the atmosphere looks. This is dangerous. This is this is this is deadly to say the least. On a Siam, on a Siam, all these things are happening because of we. You know, sometimes we say, ah, it is our people. What are they doing, bunker? How do you want them to survive? How do you want them to survive? Because these bunkery and illegal businesses is what some of them are based in doing. But because the thing has, it's now excess. That is why it has taken over the atmosphere. 
But if there were uh, factories, companies, you, they, all of them would be busy working. Nobody would have time to go and uh, uh, do bunkering or illegal refinery. Nobody would do that. Or even if the original refinery is there, functioning, most of them will be employed and money will circulate in that region. But somebody in the north is busy ruining the lives of the whole people. And we are happy. Yeah, they leave this country. Eh? Yeah, in the name of Jesus, I command this country to be better. Now for Matt, hey, God of Israel, God of Moses, Joshua, Abel, Greece, and that, Ken, God of Cain. Now now they call. No be even Abel. No know if it's God of Abel. You know they you know if he help you. No be God of Abel won't remove that suit from the atmosphere. Now to stop the people when they pollute the, the environment. Now you go stop them. No be prayer won't remove her. You go see the way they pray. You contact the disease. God is not is not a magician and he doesn't encourage laziness. He doesn't that why do we have brain? If for creators like computer, we are human being where he will be busy operating all of us. But he created you, gave you independence. That's why you are working freely. No wire is connected to you to be supplying brain and current to you. But in Africa, we don't have common sense. We have the Kanomano as leaders. No, no, single, no sense. You, you can't, for, for eight years, you can't build roads. You, can't, you don't have light. You don't have light. Kiss him no wo home. Look at the one me one billion they say that they should give to Mazen and they can apologize to him quickly. It's what they are still contemplating on. The money that they are supposed to withdraw the next morning and say, Where is he? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pack your money and go. It's what they are still talking about. Eh, eh, eh. Who, who file a, an appeal against the one billion because they hate Igbo people. When you talk it, they say, oh, you are tribalistic, you are jingoist, you are, you are, you are a racist, you are, make, make I be. I will not support evil and I don't want to live with evil people. Now, Buari be better person. She, na, na Tinubu won't become president of a country. And you think that things are going to get better. It will get worse. It, will, it is going to get worse. All these people does not, they, they don't know what is up. They can't move a country forward. But you see the younger generation looking looking at the people who has failed because of what you stand to gain what you eat instantly in the next few minutes you are running to to latrine yeah, yeah, they smell. i bet me will go another news before i change my mind jerry